This is Michael with Jellyfish Lighting, and we have the new app on the house. Uh, so we're looking at a few aspects of this. So I've done some, now I've got to remember this is in beta testing still. Uh, we're at the very end of May, beginning of June 2020. And hopefully this will be released to everybody pretty soon. Uh, still got a few little things to work out of it, but it's on my house because it's working. Um, and so we're talking about a few aspects of it. Uh, I've done a couple of videos already about uh, uh, some of the adjustments, some of the effects that you're able to do uh, with the legacy programs. And we're gonna do another video right now about actually altering a legacy program. Uh, and this is uh, really honestly one of the neatest things about this. You do have those legacy programs. You can go in and you can change the colors in them rather than just adjusting the RGB skew, the RGB spectrum. So uh, really cool. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so we have the new Jellyfish app, which is the JF Designer here. And it's gonna actually open up and default to the ports or zones, as well as legacy programs here. Um, and so actually this is, this is more what it will look like when you open it up. Uh, and then you can click on this legacy drop down here and all of them appear. So I currently have this red and white toggle going on. If I was to switch it to purple and white, push play on that. And I've got purple and white. Um, but the one I'm going to show you with is this one right down here, number 21. Because this will really illustrate well your ability to change things on the program. So, so here you've got turquoise, yellow, and purple on the house. And so once I've got that selected, what I'm actually able to do is down here on the bottom, there's another little button right here called Create Palette. Anyhow, right there. And you'll notice inside of there, it actually has the pattern that's taking place right there. You've got purple, two off, yellow, two off, turquoise, two off. You can kind of see that's what's creating that spacing up there. So technically I can come in here and I can pick each color. So it's a circle when it's not selected. Sorry, it's a square when it's not selected. It's a circle. Square when not selected, circle when it is, if I could talk. Uh, so just to start, I'm gonna go and just change all of them to purple, just so you can kind of see change. I, I've noticed this might be one of the, the things that still needs to be fixed in here, but I've noticed on some of these when I go and I pick them, they don't adjust. So I'm going to just slide that color bar over till I have that color. And I've noticed that that in some cases tends to work a little bit better. And you notice here that those right there are darker than these. So you've got a color option and then you've got a brightness option. So I'm gonna actually make those actually brighter. So I've got purple, two off, purple, two off, purple. <laughs> Now, if I was to go back there and I was to pick one of these here, so I'm gonna pick one of the off ones and just turn one to green. See, now I've got a random green one that's following along there. Uh, or I could even just go add some of these that are off. I should be able to just go turn them to green too. Well, let's try this. Turn the color on first, and then 
copy that. And now you can see I've actually got a block of three green lights and between my random purple lights there. You can see that. Or I could even pick in another section here to have a random blue light. And then sure enough, right there, I've got a random blue light in there. And then like all the others, if I want to add, you know, I can actually add sections to it, like right here where I've got the number of colors. I can make it longer than 15. I can go up to 30. If I want to increase the speed, I can increase the speed. If I want to dim them, I can dim them. And even if I want to add lightning effects, then I've got lightning effects too in the middle of it. Pretty stinking cool. I'm going to turn the lightning effect off though. I was talking to my wife about it earlier and she goes, that's probably going to get pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah, it might. Anyhow, and then you've got the option to save it, but we're not going to go save it. Um, and so, but that anyhow is what we did. And I'm wondering, I haven't tried yet. Maybe I'll try this. So we're going to switch the program here. And then switch it back here to the one we had on before. And now we're back to normal. So there you go.